So I've had a lot of questions about how to remove a background, a green background, or any color really background on a photo to make it more of a ping style photo or so that it can be used for green screen editing. So I'm going to show you a simple way that you can do that using uh, pages uh, on iOS or Mac or you can also use it on the iPad if you've got um, pages app downloaded on your iPad. So it's a very simple process. What you need to have first of all is a photo of someone or something in front of a green screen or any color uh, screen. And uh, so I'm going to, usually you could go to media and uh, grab your photo there, but I'm gonna do an even easier way. Just go into my downloads and pick up an image and drag it right onto my canvas. So I'm just inside pages, I've started a new document. And so here I am in front of a green screen. Now I want to get rid of that green in the background. So what I'm gonna do is make sure my photo is selected and that will turn on the images tab here and I'm going to go to this instant alpha setting which is where all the magic happens so when I click on that it's going to show me a magnified version of just all of the parts of my image so I'm going to click down anywhere uh, pick any kind of of the background hold down and see how it's a zero percent the more I move my cursor uh, it's going to tell me the percentage that it's going to remove so all of the purple there is going to become clear and uh, be uh, transparent after uh, this instant alpha magic happens so when I let go it will uh, remove that but I'm just going to show you if I keep going See how in my hand there at the top, it's turning purple? That means my hand is gonna become transparent as well. So I wanna kind of figure out where I stop so that my hand is still intact, but I'm still getting rid of a lot of the background. So I'm gonna stop there around 19%. Uh, and then you'll notice there's still some more. So those are because we had some shadows and different colors of green. So I'm just gonna click on all of those uh, and do the same thing and go around and hope it doesn't erase any other parts of my body to get rid of the other specks of green from the background. So, uh, there we go. And I can go right in there too, grab that little piece. There's even more. So, you can play around and just you know, until you've got uh, the amount removed that you need. And uh, yeah, so there, that looks pretty good. I mean, it's a pretty quick and easy way. So as soon as you're finished, you'll see it's still kind of a light, uh, you know, white, off-white color. But when you, as soon as you click done, it will remove that and it will become transparent. So let's click done. Bam, there we have it. So my background's been removed. So what I like to do now is take this image and do a Command C or Control C and copy it right into a uh, Google Drawings template so that uh, my students can then take these images uh, and add backgrounds by going to Insert Image and adding a background. I've got another video about that so you can click on the top, uh, the link there for how exactly to edit these images. But I usually just do a bunch of these uh, on the side and then the students will have a choice of which, which images to put into their green screen. So there you have it. Very simple, easy way to uh, use green screen editing with uh, a little bit of app smashing. So using Google Drawings as well as using uh, the Pages, Pages app or application uh, for, from Apple. So, uh, if you've got Chromebooks, this is impossible, but I have another video about how to do the same thing from a Chromebook interface. So you can click on the link above to find that video if you need to be using a Chrome browser or a Chromebook computer. Thanks for watching.